What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about why Cinder is probably one of my favorite villains in Ninjago Dragons Rising. So let's talk about this. Now major spoilers for our first season. If you haven't watched our first season, go watch it right now. It's of course out on Netflix. But if you already did, let's talk about this. Now Cinder is probably one of my favorite Ninjago villains of all time in of course Dragons Rising. Not in... Ninjago overall, but probably in this era of Dragon's Rising. I think that Cinder is a more superior villain than Roz, but he's probably my second villain. I still love Ro Lord Roz. He's an absolute character, but Cinder, his first appearance in the first few episodes was fantastic. Now, he's probably one of the best elemental master out there, and to compare with Ash, I think he's even better than Ash. Now, Ash was a nothing character. I mean, thank God, like they they gave the the uh, you know the powers of smoke to Cinder because goddamn Cinder with the elemental master with the elemental powers of smoke was fantastic. And I don't know if of course Ash died or presumably. He probably passed it down and probably he's like no probably he retired as an elemental master or he, you know died or this or he of course changed alter egos or he might have a son who knows Cinder is probably one of the best you know characters in dragon Rising. he absolutely destroys the ninjas in our first episode two he destroyed Eren and Sora in episode one I love his Shatter Spin in, of course, the final battle in episode 10. He's a such great character, and I hope he's, of course, appears more and more in, of course, Dragon's Racing Season 2. And please, I, I don't want this character to go. If he only appears in this season, that's probably a letdown. Like, let Cinder appear in more episodes. I wish Cinder was, like, the main villain of this season. It would be cool that Cinder was the main villain. And would be, of course, Ross's true master. But Ross has, of course, a true master. And we just don't know who he is. He's probably more superior than, of course, Cinder. And I'm really excited since that Season 2 Part 2 will cover tournament stuff. It, will, it would be so cool if Cinder would, of course, battle the ninjas in, of course, the tournament. Which I'm so excited to see if that, of course, happens in Season 2 Part 2. But let me know down in the comments. Do you like Cinder? Is he your favorite Ninjago Dragon's Rising villain? Comment down below, and uh, of course, I'll uh, and of course, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications whenever I post a brand new vi video, and until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.